administration led by Governor Babajide Olushola Sonwolu and his team are currently working to deliver on the campaign promises to take Lagos to a greater height. From Badagri to Apapa, from Apapa to Ikorodu, from Ikorodu to Ikeja, Lagos communities are optimistic that the current administration will touch the nooks and crannies of Lagos State. Welcome to another episode of Lagos Community Update. I am Made Joken Shoda in the Adenyoju. How is your community faring today? Join me, let's see community developers in action. Like to thank Governor Sonwolu for what he has done for this community. Some years back, this road was not motorable at all, but true to the care and love the governor has for the community, he said the councillor should recommend a project. The project can be a road, can be a center. We we'll ask all of our councillors to work with us to identify projects that must be community based. And from next year, we will start implementing and executing all of those projects. I choose this place. Surprisingly, when these people came, the work they did, the community, we are very delighted. The work was done perfectly. And I would say I've never experienced such thing to happen from the governor to the councillor. It has never happened before. And if you see the quality of the road done, you will see it's an international standard road. You can see by yourself the thickness of the bricks used. The first thing they did, they moved all the underground sand away. They leveled the ground. They perfected all the bricks they are putting. They did it very well. So the, the community, we are very delighted to see such projects coming to this community. This and many more are the reactions of community leaders, members and residents in Lagos State towards Governor Babajide Sonwulu's move to fix roads and reduce traffic congestion along major roads through the provision of alternative routes. <laughs> to ensure this is achieved in time, Men of the Lagos State Public Works Corporation are seen on many roads across the state, working tirelessly in bringing soccer to road users. As the rehabilitation continues to impact on the well-being of Lagosians, Lagos Community Update embarks on a trip to different communities in the state to get the people's remarks on the ongoing road projects. Today, we visit Ojota CDA to see the newly constructed road on Olabisi Street. Olabisi Street is a suburb located in Ojota under Kushofia local government area of Lagos State. It's known for serious business activities therein. Many say it's fast becoming a hub of industrial raw material dealers in the state. When you are talking of Olabisi, uh, I can say it's so Bob. When you are talking the center of uh, chemical business at Toyota, we'll be talking of Ebola, Badebo Street with Olabisi. Now, if you see, we are ascending since almost uh, 20 something years ago into the the main community. So almost we nearly occupy all the Ojota community now. Ojota has been a village and a town that's been in existence for over 300 years. We have an Oba, we have a big market here, Binukun market, we have a nice market, Oba market. We have several schools and several industries too in Ojota. So it's a commercial town. If you are coming from anywhere in Nigeria and you are coming through the expressway, you must pass through Ojota. So Jota is a gateway town. 
customers travel from far and wide to purchase different kind of raw materials for their industrial use. From the beginning to the end, you will see from one side to the other that you see plastic shops, you see chemical, the ones selling chlorine and other things, and you see the ones that are selling chemical materials that are meant for creams. So this place is a very good place for business. Dealers and other traders describe the state of the road and how it has affected their business before it was repaired. It's not motorable. Even the Okada people that apply it, they find it difficult to go whenever you say you are going to Olabesi. They will prefer to drop you beside the road, beside the road you, so that you will just trek in. It's not motorable. It's very bad and uh, very rough, you know. Most of the time when you bring in some trucks or, you know, at times, it's difficult for them to go out, So, but now it's very easy. So we are really enjoying the road. It wasn't easy, because especially when rains fall, you know, the road is always matchy. Most uh, cars hardly enter the streets. They have to park by, and because of that, some people will not want to enter the street. But ever since the rehabilitation of the road, things have been moving on. You can move around. Things are more better now than then. Community leaders shared what they did to salvage the situation before the intervention of Mr. Governor. At Agboko Fashi Adugbo, you know, I saw it gone. Because Adugbo is so worst gone. Even when you talk about gone, it's not gone, but Adugbo is gone. I'm like, ah, ah, you will be gone. Because I told you about it, I was at the door. Adugbo is my boss, he's gone. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm gone, 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 I'm Titi ni o darara. Ni se ni te yamba fe wano le. E kwe po palaman to joba di ro. E kwe po palaman te wano le. O ba dupe. Lo wala waba yi. E wano di se walo gembe. Since its completion, Olabisi Street has transformed to what we are seeing now. The people gave their remarks on the quality of job done and explained how it has boosted economic activities in the community. The governor has the love of the masses in mind to be able to start a project in within some months and complete it. And the level of the road, the quality of the road must be considered also. There are some projects you just see pa, 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 people will just move away from it. But you see that this project was properly done. The standard was high, it helps shops owner, it helps people that own houses, it's, it's, it, it even brings pride to the people that are doing business this year. If you have a customer, you tell that customer, this is where I stay, okay, that's new, newly constructed road. They would like to come with any kind of cars they have to this area. With this pandemic, a government can do this type of project, you know, that government it's a government that listens to the needs of the people. Well, it is quite evident that um, this road would enhance economic activities within the community, serve as access road to other roads like Badibor Street, Olatunji Street, down to Ogudu Road, you can also access Badibor Street and um, Kazim Street through this road. And aside from that, definitely those that own property along this street, they, they, it has added value to their property and also enhances lots of business and economic activities. We are so grateful to the governor for rehabilitating this road for us. We have a lot of cars piling this road now. There used to be a lot of congestion towards you know, the evening. It has an economic value. And we too in this area, we are really enjoying it. And we want government to do more in other places. No, it's a very big thing. It's a very big kudos to the government. When you enter the street now, you see a lot of commercial activities going on. And you see a lot of vehicles entering and going out. So there is no, anybody that comes here, we see that there are a lot of uh, commercial activities going on right now. Yeah, in Olabisi. They thank Governor Sawolu for extending good governance to their community as they pleaded for more projects in a bid to achieve a greater Lagos. We give grace to God Almighty and the government of Lagos State that gave us this opportunity. Because they say if you pray somebody, who will do better for you. 
So you, are, you will still receive the one that is better than that. Where you are transacting business, if it is motorable, it will be good for the customers to be easy to access to where you are going. I saw a cabbage. When you go in our, I do go to work. I do. I know how to make phone calls. I want to do a lot of work. Along with that, then you do many. I know how to go on the back pada. So you want to go to go to make your hair. I never phone a one in your daughter. And uh, especially this on Labisi Street, I want to have the community leaders. I'm a maintainer. Truly, I want to make me car. No one touch and be. But at the soft one, at the pay, I want to change one. You pay. Can you buy a monitor? Any can you to buy a big drum? Oh God, you drum during talk. I will be community leader. And if you be silly, it's our property. We should not think it's government property. We are also we are, we are government. It's our property, so we must make good use of it. But when we make good use of it, it's going to be to our own benefit and advantage. We want to commend Governor Babaji Sanwolu. We want to commend him for the good work he's doing in Lagos State. May God continue to bless him and continue to give him more wisdom. In any community, we have no abiding citizens and we have those that are not abiding. We have no that knows the right thing to do, and those that know the right thing to do, yet they do the wrong thing. So all we need to do is to educate them. We continue to educate them, persuade them. And that is why we don't allow washing of vehicles on the road. And we don't allow anybody to repair vehicles on the road. Those are some of the measures put in place so that the road will last for a longer time. is a natural asset that makes no distinction in the status of any society in the world. Its occurrence in different parts of the world has shown that it is a global phenomenon that does not exclude any community. Jakarta, Indonesia in 2013 Manila in Republic of the Philippines in August 2012 Queensland, Australia between 2011 and 2013, as well as the 19 states in the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 2012, are few of major flawed incidents that the world cannot forget in a hurry. In a bid to avoid continuous occurrence of SOSH is the reason the Lagos State Government embarked on a series of campaigns and sensitization to educate community members on proper disposal of items capable of blocking channels. So, program you know blue box program yeah one ibo gba won nkan to ba jo mo ike awon minerals wa to wa nu ke awon take away wa to ma nfo am party to wa nu ke in pe ta ba ti fe danu lati nu le wa inu be yin la ma da si e to ba je ti ke lo nwo nu bi bayo you are doing a wonderful job out there we really appreciate what the market women and men are doing but you need to go the extra mile you need to ensure that this thing is being done. That's the only way we can make Lagos clean. To combat the devastating effect of flooding across the state, communities are charged with the responsibility of monitoring and clearing of drains for easy channelization of rainwater. 
In Ifeso Wakba Community Development Association, living in a flood free community is topmost on their agenda. We find out that um, in between the community and the other community, there is a link road, there is a, there is a small gutter, a drainage, that has been an issue in the community for long. Which um, probably while people are going, you can see students are going, passers by, they would have to enter the water before they could get to wherever they are going. And we find out that leaving that thing that way to not help anything, we believe it's a development that which we all uh, the community must embark on. We decided to through the gutter and we decided to put it in place. So we started from the frontage of the community, as in the main road. We cleared the drainage over there in the name of the community with our pulse. And we come into the community, looking at um, the drainage, the mini drainage in between the houses. We, we broke them down, we, we recovered it in order to make it more solid than the way it was before. And um, we, we, we exercised the drainage clearing every week, every day. So that has been a lot of ways that um, the issue of drainage in the community has been solved. Situated in the heart of Surulere local government area, Ifeso Wakba Community Development Association houses quite a number of retired military officers. I met with one of them who shares with me part of the evolution story of the community. We were brought here by Lagos Executive Development Board in 1961, February 5. So coming here at that time, it, it looked like, like bush. So we encounter small problem when we came here. With the effort of the people, of we people living here, we develop it to the maximum level we can do. Resident of this young community of 15 bungalows built by the Lagos State Development and Property Corporation, LSDPC, hardly sleep with their two eyes closed. According to them, the community was a safe haven for hoodlums and street urchins that resident dead the night. The need to liberate the community prompted the CDA to light up the entire area, a development that brought relief to the people. Uh, we have some porous entry into the place. So we now decided that, okay, for that to be the case, we should make a security light that there will be no hidden area in the environment. When we look at the way the electricity has been run, so we now decided that we should make a pool inside so that it will have a great easy access for individual house to get light. That when you come at night, there will be no dark place entirely. The lighting up of the community has made a lot of um, good changes in the community. Even if you come to the community, maybe later in the night, you see how colorful the place is. One, aside from being colorful, it has posed a lot of hidden corners in the community so there is no way for you to drop something or probably um, hide somewhere to smoke or do a sort of things in the community that was what the impact of the lighting up of the community have done to the community we do not have a street light in our community before and which serves as one of the hideout for the um, uh, woodlums in the community and we did the street light we had this pose was done by our stakeholders in the community. The erecting of new poles in the community regarding the electricity has helped our small scale businesses because there's nothing like loss of faces again. So everybody has light, immediately the power supply is being activated. So there's nothing like I have issues with, with light in my house. So every business, is, the, the small scale businesses, households are having light perfectly now. Apart from dislodging criminals in the community, executive members of Ifeso Wakwa CDA equally replace all the wooden electricity poles to concrete ones. Another noble effort of this community is the construction of the CDA Secretariat for administrative purpose. We had a meeting at the CDC level and this was sent to our hair that at least you should have an office that if there is any information coming around to your community, you'll be able to accept it while you have an office. It won't be as if taking it to anybody's house or something. And as you know, it's a community, so we should have a place called as an office. That is why we embark on a project, on a mini 
sectariat for the community development. As Lagos State government continue to wage war against non-biodegradable items across the metropolis, Sweep Foundation, a non-governmental organization, shares similar thoughts. And um, I need to demonstrate how you can use these speakers. You press it down. It's a clip. Can you see this? So you clip it down and then you grip. So it's this way. You clip it, you grip it. The foundation recently launched its waste in the city. An initiative commissioned by the wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Sonwolu in Surilere local government area, to curb the impending havoc of domestic waste, which has continued to grow in leaves. And they will, like and ensure that Lagos State is clean. <laughs> if Esowakwa CDA received the representative of Sweep Foundation. The aim behind the waste in the city is for us to reduce as much as possible the amount of plastics and pet bottles that find its way into our canals, our drainages, and our gutters. We want to rid Lagos of all this because they cause lots of hazard to the environment. So we are going to distribute this and have people that will man them, that will be in charge of them in all these areas to ensure that these plastics are gathered. The wife of Mr. Governor has been very supportive to us right from the very first day she got information about what we are doing. She has always been there for us. Again, the Minister of Environment has been very supportive. You can see I'm holding pickers. This is what we used to pick these bottles, just like I've done now, which I'm dropping right inside. These are part of the technical support we've received from Ministry of Environment. So we are getting good support from the government and it's courtesy of the agenda of Mr. Governor of Lagos State. Achieving the Greater Lagos takes effort from me and you. Think of what you can do in your community and add your little drop of water to achieving it. With that, we wrap up today's episode of Lagos Community Update. Remember, you can join our social media platforms and in case you have projects or programs going on in your community, do call the numbers on your screen. I am Ade Joker, Shoda in the Adenyojo, till I come your way again next time. Wherever you are, whatever you do, never ever work against your community because your community is yours.